The baby rhino begins the day leading mom Livia around the closed off rhino habitat on the eastern side of the park. Yeah, he is a bundle of energy, which is all typical rhino calf behaviors. Wildlife care specialist Johnny Capiro is accustomed to watching the young animals zoom around the enclosure, usually with mom lumbering close behind. He's really playful and confident. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that mom is so confident um, and feeling good about her role as a mom, so he doesn't have a care in the world right now. And of course, all that running makes a romp in the mud even better. Kapira says that mud bath cools the animal down, protects it from the sun's harsh rays, and keeps bugs off its hide. The baby weighed more than 100 pounds at birth and is already more than twice that size. And when that calf grows up, it'll be about the size of his dad, 4,000 pounds. And while the calf is cute and attracting attention, researchers are celebrating the birth because it's the first for mom, Livia. She now joins two other southern white rhino females at the park out of a herd of six that have proven they can give birth and care for offspring. Barbara Durant is the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance's Director of Reproductive Services. She says the six females were brought here in 2015 to teach researchers about rhino reproduction. We started getting exact details about the reproductive cycle. We knew vaguely what the rhino cycle was like from the animals that were breeding here in our field habitats, but we didn't know the details. That's critical because these six females could one day be surrogate moms to the closely related northern white rhino. That species is on the precipice of extinction thanks to war and poaching. An aging mom and her daughter are the only northern white rhinos on the planet. Both are too old to breed, so surrogates could be a lifeline to keep the northern whites from going extinct. That goal for all of us, all of us working on this project, is a self-sustaining herd of northern white rhinos that we can reintroduce into native habitat. So we're backing way up and starting with the fundamentals. San Diego researchers hope to do that by implanting an embryo of a northern white rhino into one of the proven moms. If the pregnancy is successful, the result would be a northern white calf. But it's complicated and unprecedented. The Wildlife Alliance's Carla Young is one of the researchers pioneering the techniques that they hope to use. Some steps are as basic as figuring out how to make the petri dish culture that cloned, fertilized rhino eggs will grow in. So we've sort of taken protocols that we've learned for the horse and other protocols that I've learned using domestic cat, um, deer, even human, and we've taken all those protocols, and um, this is how we made the maturation media for the rhino, because no one's ever done this sort of work before. Eventually, Young will use frozen northern white rhino cells to create sperm and eggs. Each egg will be the shell of a southern white with the northern white cellular material inside. A single northern white sperm will be injected, and the resulting embryo will be a northern white rhino. I have no doubt that we can produce northern white rhino embryos with a southern white rhino um, host oocyte. Um, I just hope in the near future we could um, do an embryo transfer and you know, figure out um, our technique to, to do this and, and actually be able to produce a northern white rhino calf. But challenges remain. Barbara Durant says researchers want proof of concept in the field with southern white rhinos before they tap their limited supply of northern white cells. German researchers have created northern white embryos using eggs harvested from the two living females, but creating the embryo is only half the battle. There's never been a successful embryo transfer in any rhino species. Durant says there has been steady incremental progress. Two females in San Diego did get pregnant from artificial insemination. The team knows more about rhino reproduction, and three females are now candidates to have a southern white rhino embryo implanted. But Durant says the clock is ticking. The northern white rhino is so close to extinction now that there's a very real possibility that before we have a northern white rhino calf, that both of these females will be gone. And that will be bringing back an extinct species. Successful or not, the work being done with southern and northern white rhinos in San Diego could still prove invaluable to other species, like the Sumatran rhino, which only has a population of about 60 animals. Eric Anderson... KPBS News.